All right, welcome to my 2015 film retrospective. This is another really strong year for films, one that the list is too long for my honorable mentions that I cannot remember them. Um, they include Best of Enemies, Kingsman, The Hateful Eight, The Revenant, The Big Short, Green Room, Creed, Steve Jobs, and Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Force Awakens, I really went back and forth on even listing it because I don't think it's a great film. I totally understand why a lot of people have problems with it, but I've watched it so many times. I'm such a huge Star Wars geek, and I think it does fit into the canon of Star Wars, and I think it does. It doesn't quite match up to the original three, but I think it has a lot going for it. I really like the good pieces of those movies, so I, at the last second, added it and um, doing a little flair for Star Wars. My favorite bad movie from this year is Pixels, a movie I saw in theaters and really hated, but I don't think I hated it as much as everyone else. It's a movie that I was really looking forward to because I love the short film that it was based upon, and obviously Chris Columbus is a really great director, and I see him in there. I see his direction in this film. Most people really hate this film and would not even like it as a good, bad movie. I think it kind of works because you have, you have some odd choices in there, like making Kevin James president of the United States, that are just so wacky that you kind of like, don't know what you're seeing, but like, you know what, I'm enjoying this, even if it's good or bad. Um, People like Josh Gad and Peter Dinklage seem to be having a lot of fun with it. And it's hard not to like a performance where someone is having fun. And obviously, San, uh, Adam Sandler just checked out by this point, but who cares about him? A lot of the visual effects are really good. There's actually some legitimately enjoyable action in this movie. Definitely not a good movie. Anything I did not mention is terrible in this film. And so all those elements kind of mishmash together make for a fun, bad movie that I think is worth checking out. My overlooked film for this year is Hardcore Henry, a movie that I think most people probably avoided even though they heard about it because it's entirely shot in the first person. So it looks like a first person shooter video game like Call of Duty or Halo, and I can see that would be very off-putting to a lot of people, but I think this movie really pulls it off. I kind of wish they had gone for kind of the 1917 or uh, Birdman approach where they, they mask the cuts, where they try to make it seem like one long take instead of a bunch of chump cuts, but I don't fault the movie for that. I think that it really is so much good action in this film and it's surprisingly good character development for both. It's not great for the main character, but it is there for a completely silent protagonist. Also for Charlotte Copley, his performance alone makes this movie a lot of really cool practical action in this movie, a lot of cool practical effects, and you know the story is really lacking, the, the villain is very one dimensional, though I like his performance. Uh, where the movie is short on, I think it was totally overlooked in what it accomplishes. And I think if you like action, you like first person shooters, this movie is totally dope and I recommend you checking out. And finally we get to my favorite movie of the year, which is Mad Max Fury Road. A movie that's immensely popular, everyone proclaimed that it was the greatest action movie of the 21st century when it came out. And it has not slowed down on its popularity since. This movie is widely loved. And I love it too. I grew up loving the Mad Max movies because my dad liked them a lot. He grew up with them and I'm not a huge fan of the very original one because it's so weird. But I like Road Warrior a lot. I like Thunderdome for the good pieces of that movie. I like the character a lot so I'm very much looking forward to this movie. If you go back and actually watch my original review of it, which is still on my channel, I liked it but didn't love it. But the more I watched it, there's so much under the surface of this film. It has a lot to say. I think about this movie all the time. I love a lot of the performances in this movie stand out to me, you know, Nicholas Holt and uh, Shirley Theron and whoever plays uh, the bad guy and also, of course, Tom Hardy again, probably the most reoccurring actor in this decade for me, just kills it as Max. It's such a very understated role and I just love the action in this movie. I love the practical effects. I love the use of CGI that doesn't, isn't obvious that it's CGI. I just like the entirety of this film. I think it's a really smart film that has a lot to say and never seen it, you gotta check it out. And that's all I've got for 2015. Let's move on to 2016. All right, welcome to uh, And I really enjoyed a lot of these films and I am just rambling, I need to restart. People's opinions on these movies. Hold on, a weird shadow. No, okay.